I know a few personal shoppers as well, so if I need something special, I will take this is crazy actually. You know, this is full on water, you know. Luckily, What's happening? It's your boy J Knox, Palace TV, obviously at Copa's Cope Road, Crystal Palace training ground, here with the one they call Gyro Riedewald. 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 Gyro Riedewald. We're going to take a little walk down to the academy. You might have to give me a tour when we get there. But we're going to walk down Copa's Cope Road and, uh, and yeah, go and have a little chat, shall we? Let's, let's roll, let's roll. So, like I was saying, so often, we see you on the pitch for like, Couple, couple of times a month, or well, at Sellers Park anyway. But yeah. we see you on the pitch. We don't know much about Gyro, the man. <laughs> the man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to know a little bit about 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 Gyro, and uh, and yeah, about your life, about being at Palace, being in the UK, because you're from uh, Amsterdam, Holland. You're actually from Amsterdam. Yeah. What do you think? What would you say is like the biggest differences between living there and living here? You know, Amsterdam is a, it's a great city, but I think London is just like the bigger brother, the big brother of yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah, everything is so yeah big. You've got more restaurants, more clubs, more places to go shopping or whatever. So I think that's the biggest difference between them. And uh, there's not as many uh, bikes over here. Cycling. Yeah, they cycle a lot, a lot in, in, a lot. in Amsterdam, isn't it? Yeah. You cycle? Yeah, when I'm in Amsterdam, yeah. You I don't cycle like, here? Nah, I don't. Nah, nah. Not part of your fitness, no? It's too dangerous, man. I hear you. All the cars and everything. Do you wear a helmet when you cycle? I mean, they don't, no one really wears helmets in Amsterdam. No, they don't, they don't. They, they, just, don't. they, just, they just ride. Yeah. Yeah, so you mentioned there's more restaurants, more clubs and more shopping here. Yeah. So would I, would I be right in saying those are like the, the three things you like to do a lot of? Yeah. You know, I'm more of an in-house person, to be honest. Yeah. I'm more of an in-house person. So after training, I like to go home, rest, and most of the time I just on YouTube, Netflix, or FaceTiming my friends and family from Holland. I'm more of an in-house person, but when I go outside or go out, there's so many opportunities where I can go. I can go chill, I can go busy in Central or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, 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 the opportunities yeah. are good. But uh, yeah. now with the COVID, I'm more an in-house person as well. So, restaurants, obviously you said that you're an in-house person. Do you spend a lot of time cooking? Cooking? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not really, not really, not really. Oh, you said no. Uber Eats and delivery. When I came to England, I was 19. And, um, you know, first few months, you're going to try it a little bit, you know. But I couldn't keep up anymore. It was too, too hard to do yeah. groceries, to be creative, what to eat and everything. So, um, I think after a year, I, uh, I've got a chef. I've got yeah. myself a chef, so he's cooking for me three times a week and uh, I'm living with a friend now as well so he cooks all three times a week and then one yeah. day in the week we go for a takeaway or we have our away game or whatever so obviously. cooking ain't for me man. It's important obviously I suppose doing what you do to eat right as well so yeah. you know but restaurant of choice or takeaway of choice where are you going? The one thing I like about uh, England is the Caribbean food man. Speaking to Tyreek Mitchell and a few friends uh, I know from England as well, Jamaican. They always give me nice uh, Caribbean restaurants. So recommendations, yeah. Recommendations. And what's exactly. your favorite like West Indian? Dish? Like, what will you order? A Caribbean dish? Uh, I think the jerk chicken. Yeah. Ah, cool. Rice and peas, jerk chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get across this road. <laughs> I said, obviously, you spend a lot of time Netflix, YouTube. What are you watching on Netflix? Uh, yeah, anything, man. Anything can be. Just the suggestions. Yeah. Gameplay of a game, let's say I'm playing Warzone, I can watch gameplay of some oh, yeah. streamer on Warzone. Yeah, into or the gaming, yeah? Into the gaming a little bit. Uh, Floggers from Holland as well. And uh, recently I've been into a few content creators from England as well, like Chunks and Young Philly. Yeah. I've been watching them videos as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get Philly here, he's a Palace fan. Yeah, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. But we're going to get him down here. Yeah, no, there will be Might nice. have to get you playing against him. Playing against them? Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, man. We'll have to get, have to get it cracking, man. So this is this is the academy, right? Yeah, this is the academy. So when I first came here, it didn't look like this. So yeah. the renovation, I think we started last year. Big renovation, new pitches, uh, canteen, dressing room, everything has changed. And it's looking very good. 
I think they're still building the, the dome or they're finished. I'm not sure yet. It's, sounds like they're building it right now. Yeah, they're still building a few, <laughs> yeah. few bits. But no. Obviously, a lot of young players here and that come up through the ranks and stuff like that. Do you get to mix a lot with like the younger players and, and like kind of just mix with them and reason with them and chat to them much? Or Yeah, so now with the new manager, he likes to bring uh, young players to the pitch as well. And um, when I first came here, I didn't play that much in the first team. So I spent a lot of time playing under 23s on Mondays. Uh, home and away games just to keep match fit and uh, so most of the guys I already know from when I was playing with them. Okay, you know, okay. Naya Kirby, Malachi Boateng, Tariq Mitchell, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Wambi Saka but and uh, so when they always when they come to the first team I already know them from my first two years here at Palace so I think we have a, a good friendship. And a good just synergy to play as well like if yeah. you've been playing with them and then they come across to the first team. Yeah exactly. You mentioned like obviously the the when you first came, you weren't playing in the first team so much. What, what do you think was the change, like, where you ended up sort of playing more first team football? Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm from, uh, I come from the Ajax Academy, and um, when I came to to England with Frank de Boer, watch out. When I came to England with Frank de Boer, he had a vision about how he wants to play, and uh, it didn't work out. And a new manager came, Roy Hodgson, and uh, yeah. What's that like when a manager? Brings you in, and then they're gone, and then now you've got this new manager. It's like you've got to, you've got to kind of get used to working with someone brand new. What's that like? Yeah, no, that's that's difficult, of course, because uh, the first manager he left like after two months or something. Yeah, it wasn't long, was it? Yeah, it was very quick. And then a new manager came, and I didn't know the manager, and I just had to prove myself. But he spoke to me. He was very honest from the beginning, and he said, "Yeah, you're." you got the potential, you got quality, but you have to earn my trust because I don't know you as a player. So you have to show me day in, day out what you can do. And I just tried to do my best uh, every time when I stepped on the pitch, uh, on the training ground. And it took some time, but after two and a half years, he gave me the chance and I earned a little bit of trust week in, week out. And I played uh, a lot of games last season, so yeah. Yeah, so, you've been out here. Yeah, I was out there, yeah, man. You've been out here, number 44. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, any yeah. relevance, like I know for some players, like the squad numbers are quite important to them. Any relevance to you or does it not really matter? Um, I used to play centre back in Holland and as a centre back you're wearing number four. Okay. So I'm always used to the number four. And when I came here, of course, uh, Luka Mikhailovic, he has the number four. Then I want to go to my debut number, that's 42. But Jason Punchin at the time <laughs> at 42. Yeah. So I was like, let's go double four. and. 44, yeah. 44. 44, man. So that's, uh, <laughs> and that's what it is. That's what it is, and I just like the number now. It, I think it suits me well. It's so. stuck. Yeah, it's yeah, stuck yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So here we are, the academy. Here we are, yeah. Man, sprinkling on us. <laughs> sprinkling on us. Now, this is actually the first time I've seen it, like... Since it's been... Since it's been building, yeah, it's looking very nice. Looks good. Modern, fresh. Looks good. Very good. Let's take a walk, maybe we can get a little tour. Hopefully. <laughs> Find somewhere to sit. So we're in the dugouts where the, where the academy players play and train. Have you trained here? Uh, yeah, trained here before, yeah. But not when it looked like this. Not when it looked like this, no, no, no. But yeah, it's nice, man. It is. It's not a bad day as well. As we head towards winter, you were saying you've been Winter Wonderland. I've been there, yeah. A couple <laughs> no of ice times. skating, though. No ice skating, man. Just there, hot chocolate and... Maybe a ride, maybe. 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 <laughs> are you like are you like a theme park guy? Are you like a thrill seeker? Uh, I like the vibe at the theme park. You know, I like the vibe just to have a walk around. Maybe a ride, as I said, but I don't really like to go crazy on the rides and the loops and everything. I just yeah. like to. What are you saying? The belly goes. Yeah, the belly goes, <laughs> man. Uh, all the height and everything. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no. That's not really. I do love a fast ride, man. Yeah? But the drop, it's like, it's exhilarating, isn't it? Oh, the free falls kind yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, they ain't me, man. They ain't me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to get you on a ride and get your face. <laughs> Oblivion or something. <laughs> nah, See your nah, face. They, 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 this picture is not, not for you, no? No, not the crazy ones. Too much adrenaline and all that, man. Yeah, man, that's the vibe, man. That's the vibe. Jeez, we're getting wet here. <laughs> yeah, the sprinklers, man. Obviously, being here, we mentioned Netflix, <laughs> watching stuff. We mentioned um, YouTube as well. You, obviously, YouTube. Mentioned cooking. Mentioned shopping as well. Do you get out? Do you like? Obviously, a lot of people are shopping online now. 
But, like, to, when you're going to go out and buy clothes, I do think it's one of those things you can't replace going to the shop, picking up something. I was in, in Amsterdam at uh, Pata. Oh, yeah, 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 no, well, yeah, yeah. Nothing replaces that feeling of getting in there and picking up something Picking up like. something, yeah, yeah, and leave. No, true. Yeah, I, uh, I know a few personal shoppers as well, so if I need something special, I would take... This is crazy, actually, <laughs> you know, this is full-on water, you know. Is that, is that the water <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the theme park? Luckily... No, they're getting for us, bro, they're getting for us. <laughs> right now, they're trying to rain us off. <laughs> Gyro don't like fast rides, but they try to give him a wet ride. Yeah, crazy, man. Crazy. But it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Yeah, we're still here. We're still here. No, we were talking about the, the shopping. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was saying about Pata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I, I know a few personal shoppers, so when I need something special, I would text them, send them a, a picture of what I like, what I want. And that's all right. They send it to your house or whatever. But as you said, going into... Um, Selfridge just hurts or just an, another store and getting actually going into the shop getting sneakers or getting a t-shirt or a hoodie or whatever I think that's still the best feeling yeah, yeah you can good, try it on as well so it's, it's way a good better feeling man hey, they're kidding hey, this water it just keeps coming man this is crazy it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I think me and Jairo have found a spot at the academy where it's not gonna rain on us and they're not gonna spray no sprinklers hopefully man. hopefully man <laughs> on us, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a decent day. Um, at the Academy with Jaro Riedewald, and we know, bro, you've been here a little while and you've come through some times and you stuck with us and you're in the first team. But when, you when we first started to see you, your hair didn't look like that. No, <laughs> it didn't, it didn't. Well, what's been, the, what's been the hair journey for you? Like, what was, what was the thought process? Uh, yeah, what was the thought process? So basically, when I was younger, I always had long hair, like long, to my shoulders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, when you become 14, 15, 16, you're like, nah, I want to shave it all off. So I shaved it off, had a, low, a little fade and um, curly hair. And that's when I came to Palace, I think I had a little, little curly hair. Mm. And then, yeah, changed it, mixed it up a bit. And then I said to myself, yeah, I'm going back to long hair. And then with the COVID and everything, so staying inside, I just said to myself. No barbers. <laughs> no barbers, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, let me push this through. And then I had a big afro, and then it just became so big. I said to myself, yeah, let's do dreads. So now I'm doing the dreads, and hopefully in a year time, I will have long dreads. And I think dreads was the last thing I, uh, that was the only thing, oh, this is. Bruv, you know what, uh, right, I can't even thing. talk anymore, man. We're going to catch up with Jaro <laughs> another day <laughs> when it's not raining on us. Hey, the space is <laughs> Jaro, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Listen, thank it's good you, to catch you. up with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you at Palace. We're glad you're here. Thank you. And we thank love you. getting to know you a little bit better. It's your boy Jay Knox. Jaro Riedewald. Thank you, Palace guys. Palace TV.